Welcome ladies and gentlemen to part 9 of River City Girls. In this episode we're going to be going to Ocean Hills. The last part we beat a Bobo and he told us to come here because there's a good chance Kudio and Riki may be in the noise concert. And this is where things will start getting a little bit longer. I told you all that it'll start getting longer between a Bobo and uh, noise. I mean, it's kind of obvious who's the next boss is, because Noise is more likely the person of interest to follow. But... There's going to be steps that you're going to have to take in order to get to Noise. That's the problem. Oh, and by the way, that red wall is no ordinary red wall. That's actually the doorway to the secret Merlin shop. And the Merlin shop, as I mentioned before, is 5,000 coins per item that they have, and there's only two of them, but those two items will more than likely break the entirety of this game. So, what's the point? I mean, one of them will give you super speed, one of them will give you super strength, so you'll just be moving at your normal speed if you have both of them equipped. So on that note, you're practically spending 10,000, actually, to more than likely beat the game. And then, after you get a... I think that shop, unfortunately, is part of 100%. So now I stop to think about it, there is a point to that. So getting all the shops is probably a part of 100%. So, I kind of answered my own question. That was really stupid of me. But still, I was making a sh I was making sure if there was any um, statues that I missed. Again, I'm going to make a whole video to try to sniff out those statues and to find out the ones I didn't break and show you the ones I did. Meanwhile, Ocean Hills. This used to be an area where there's no encounters where you can just up and buy stuff if you have the money for it. But now, you're pretty much going to be in a locked battle scenario, obviously, because it's a new area and it's a mandatory thing. And of course, the lock cost me to get jumped by a bunch of cheerleaders. It's not fair, I tell you. It's not fair. And, oh god, they're bringing in wrestlers and the Terminator. Oh wait, no, that was mine. That was mine. I just realized that. Oh, I can't wait to increase my weapon even further than what it already is. Because if, if it's at max, then any weapon I pick up will pretty much waylay all of these characters here. <clears throat> so, with that said, let's just keep beating up everybody here. And I broke the bat. Oops, uh, that's not good. Oh, you want to know what's not good? That cosplayer. It's back. And unfortunately, I do not want. I do not want. Or unless it surrenders, I'm going to keep I'm going to take her. You see, the thing about the cosplayers, they are really damn strong as I already mentioned before. And they hurt. They really hurt. Speaking of hurting, I'm going to get some avocado toast to raise up my special some tofu burrito to raise up my agility. Fake chicken to raise up my... Thank you. Will, when I, uh, weapon power. And more importantly, the attack to be raised up by one with right quiche. Away. I've had quiche. It's so-so. You just gotta find somebody who knows how to make I it. Unfortunately, I I'm not that person because I've never made quiche before. Please enter. Let us match and by the way, the this is another area where you could get some moves, if you haven't already. Wow! Funny how we keep running into each other, isn't it? You ever heard of One Hit Tommy? Got a hell of a fist on him. He'll take down anyone with a single punch. He's been loitering in a nearby bathroom, and I really gotta pee. Go take him out so I can drain the, uh, <laughs> you know. Funny how a One Punch Man reference tend to make its way to the newest games. No matter how many times I try to avoid that show, although it is a good show, it's actually pretty funny. But still, 
just the fact that One Punch Man is always going to be a reference. Needless to say, um, it's going to happen. It's bound to happen. By the way, that wind-up from that uh, cosplayer will do a lot of damage to the enemies. So there is that. However, unfortunately, the enemies have to get close to her in order for that to happen. Oh, but they can get close to you when you're not one of their buddies, that is. But, nonetheless, we're going to be beating up enemies with a fish. Yes, fish slapping. Because we need a VeggieTale reference in this game. Ah, yes. VeggieTales was hilarious. Uh, too bad I stopped watching the show after a while. Anyway, I picked up a cat there. And we're just going to go into the next area. And this is where we're going to find Noise's Yacht. It's basically going to be the reason for the length of our stay here at Ocean uh, Hills. It's basically a side quest. No, we gotta open the side quest first. And then one we'll end up having to open another side quest just so we could get onto the yacht. And the yacht basically is where Noise is. So on that note, let's talk to Burnoff? What is he doing here? Alright. Oh, Arc system works on its double dragon, I forgot. Yo, is this Noise's yacht? So what if it is? Let us aboard. We got business with her. So what if you do? Please, we're in love. You and everyone else. But Noise don't love you, so beat it. Not with her. I'm in love with Ricky. I don't know who that is. And Kunio. Still don't know or care. Now beat it. I'll beat you. Look, mister. What did you say your name was? I didn't. There must be some way we can get on that yacht. Not without a VIP pass. And where can we get one of those? Degenerates like you will never be VIP. What did he say? Okay, we understand. See you later. Come on, Misako. Well, we've just unlocked the new quest. Why do you stop And me? we are going to have to go and off. find the concierge Blame who happened to have you heard him. All we need tickets is a to VIP Noises pass and he'll yacht. Let us on board. So yeah, unfortunately we for us, There's a fancy hotel we'll have the other to end deal with Ocean that. Heights. Lots of rich people oh, there. Oh, it's Ocean Heights. One of them has a VIP it's the same thing, basically. But we could go into the to plot the Impaler, basically. And plot the Impaler is where you're going to get some Welcome new some items, like board. the coin purse, which is desperately needed. You sure? If you had that equipped, you'll end up getting more money. So that's where you're going friends. to get all of the um well basically that's how you're gonna get the money upgrade so you'll get some more money and that's how you're gonna get five thousand coins because it'll increase the chances of money being dropped on that note there's a cat that was up here and now let's pay attention to this area here because we are going to be having to come back no, we're going to have to come back here later on. And also, we're going to get that shop later on, too. There's a lot of things we're going to be doing later. But for now, the only thing we need to worry about is not getting killed by the roller coaster. The roller coaster actually hurts. I'm going to pick that up, and I'm going to go about my merry business, because I see some animal people, and I do not like it. Yes, get killed by the roller coaster get get wrecked basically and we need to go to the bathroom because after all this is a goat eye mission and we need to beat one hit tommy who ironically if you do get hit by tommy you do lose all of your life he wasn't kidding about that regard but considering i'm strong enough to withstand tommy i just gave him the stunner and dropped him on his freaking head on that note I should have put on the uh, makeup but that's a no, not to make up them um, pepper spray sorry about that and now we need to go into the hotel itself 
First, we've got another beat em up section. And a cat. I just happen to catch up to one. And like I said, if you do use a fish. I actually didn't say that yet. Hold on, give me a second. I'm getting confused here because I thought I said some things that I didn't. You see that fish that's down on the ground? If you actually destroy five opponents with that fish, you'll end up getting an achievement. And yes, it's uh, it's actually a random achievement, but it's an achievement nonetheless. So on that note, I'll eventually get the fish if I need it. But chances are I won't. Not for these guys. And what the hell did I just do? Hold on. Oh damn it, I just got kicked. Hold on. Oh! Oh, sweet! I just power bombed the hell out of that guy on an aquarium. That would have been awesome if it broke. Okay, no, it wouldn't have because it killed the fish. But then again, I have a really big fish, and I'm using it as a weapon. And I'm getting jumped! Why am I getting jumped? Oh, wait, that's right, River City Ransom. Or just River City in general. Wait, one more. There we go. Now we can go on about our business. And what I just did just gave me an achievement. Let's see. There is one last shop we can go to before we go to the concierge. And that is the sauna. For those of you who are wondering about the sauna, the sauna actually is a staple within the River City Ransom games. I don't know if the Super Nintendo had it, but uh, every other game more than likely did. Ooh, now that was awesome! But, now would be a perfect time to show off the sauna. And get used to this, folks. This is the only fan service you will ever get. Thanks, I, guess. I mean, Way 4 does do fan service, but not too much. At least enough to get by the censors, anyway. So, yeah. The sauna will completely rejuvenate you or rejuvenate your you? partner. Hey, Jeeves. We need some info. The shelter is on 8th Street. What? No, we're not homeless. Why? Do we look homeless? You don't not look homeless. We need VIP passes to the noise concert. Got any? I have one pair of VIP passes for Noise's ultimate fans. Well, yeah, I mean, that's us. Sure is! Oh, really? Then I'm sure you can answer these three questions about her. Obviously. What is Noise's favorite food? Uh, milkshakes? No. Her dog's name? Captain... Barkington? No. Her hometown? Uh, here? Be gone! I await a pair of Noise's true superfans. Only they shall be her VIPs. And now we have a new quest. In order for to actually be a true Noise superfan, we're going to have to find the three things about Noise that we pretty much need to remember. And they're in three different locations. And we're going to be doing that in part 10. So on that note, I will see you guys next time on River City Girls. Where we actually have to search for information on noise just to get tickets. Just to get to the battle with noise. So yeah. More than likely part 10 is going to be our showdown with noise. And yeah, it is going to be tedious and long. See you guys next time.